October 13, 2010, and the time is 6.07. My name is Lori Grantham, and I am a supervising engineer in the Office of Waste Management. With me this evening is Paul Ali, a senior engineer in the Office of Waste Management, and also Doug Begg, acting chief of the Office of Air Resources. This evening, we are going to that mic on because I'm a little hot here. Can you hear me better now? Yeah, that's good. Thank you. This evening, we are holding a public hearing regarding an application from the Rhode Island Resource Recovery Corporation to develop a sixth phase of the landfill to meet future disposal needs of the state of Rhode Island. The purpose of tonight's public hearing is twofold to receive public comments on the solid waste license application and major source air permits. There's a sign up sheet at the corner of the table for anyone who is wishing to make, com make comments on the um, at tonight's public hearing. Written comments on the solid waste application will continue to be accepted by the Office of Waste Management for an additional 30 days after the close of tonight's public hearing. Anyone who makes oral comments tonight may also submit written comments during the 30 day comment period, which will end on November 15, 2010. This hearing is being conducted under the authority of Rhode Island General Laws Chapters 23-18.9-9, Air Pollution Control Regulation No. 9, and the Rules and Regulations for Solid Waste Management Facilities. This hearing was advertised in the Providence Journal on August 9, 2010 with a solid waste license. In addition, the Office of Air Resources published a public notice of this hearing in the Providence Journal on October 1, 2010 for the air permit in accordance with the procedures for public participation in Section 9.12 of Air Pollution Control Regulation No. 9. The purpose of this evening's hearing is to afford interested parties an opportunity to submit comments orally and or in writing on the proposed solid waste license and major source air permits. This hearing is not intended as a means of providing a forum for discussion or debate and is not a question and answer session. The Department will not be responding to any comments received tonight. Members of the hearing panel, however, may ask you questions about your testimony. A record is being made of tonight's uh, hearing. Mm. Rhode Island Resource Recovery Corporation submitted a solid waste application to Rhode Island TDM's Office of Waste Management to construct a landfill known as Phase 6 Landfill, which will be situated adjacent to phases 1 and 5. Phase 6 Landfill will be constructed with a double baseline system and has been designed with a primary and secondary leachate collection system to collect the leachate during and after active operation. The anticipated life of the landfill will be approximately 17.4 years. The final closure will include the installation of a gas management system, multi-layer and permeable cap, and vegetative cover. After extensive review of the solid waste license application, several corresponding provisions to the application, the Office of Waste Management has issued a notice of intent to approve the Phase 6 landfill. Concurrently, a change of groundwater classification is also being proposed. The groundwater underlying the area to be licensed is proposed to be reclassified from GB to GC. As required by governing statute, the Office of Waste Management advertised the public notice on August 9, 2010. The informational workshop for the solid waste license application. This informational workshop was held at Resource Recovery's offices in this very room on August 24, 2010 at 6 p.m. Representatives of the Office of Waste Management and Resource Recovery were available at that workshop to answer questions. Furthermore, a copy of the solid waste application has been available for review in the Office of Waste Management's offices. The solid waste application will continue to be available for review during the 30-day written comment period, which ends again on November 15, 2010. 
written comments that shall be submitted to the Department's Office of Waste Management, located at 235 Promenade Street, Providence, Rhode Island, 02908. Please send the comments to the attention of Mr. Wallet Ali from the Office of Waste Management. Within 90 days of the close of the public comment period, the Director of the Department of Environmental Management will either issue a solid waste license or denial. The license, if issued, will be for a period of three years of operation, as required by law. When the license decision is made, the Office of Waste Management will include a response to all substantive comments made during the comment period. The applicant or anyone providing substantive comments during the public comment period may appeal the Director's decision to the Department's Administrative Adjudication Office. As previously stated, tonight's public hearing is not a question and answer session, but rather an opportunity for the public to come in and place their comments on the record. After the close of the public comment period for the solid waste license application on November 15, 2010, the Office of Waste Management will compile all the written comments submitted to the Department, as well as any verbal comments placed on the record today, and respond to those comments all at once. A final decision on the solid waste license will then be made. Stephanie Fay, Acting Chief of the Office of Air Resources, will now speak about the major source of air permits. Good evening. My name is Douglas McVay. I'm Acting Chief with the EM's Office of Air Resources. In addition to the solid waste license, we are here today to take public comment concerning the proposed issuance of four major source permits for the Rhode Island Resource Recovery Corporation. The Department of Environmental Management's Office of Air Resources has received an application from Rhode Island Resource Recovery Corporation to develop a sixth phase of the landfill to meet future disposal needs in the state of Rhode Island. The Office of Air Resources has reviewed the application for compliance with applicable state and federal air pollution control regulations. A draft major source permit for public review and comment has been prepared. Additionally, three draft major source permits have been prepared for the Phase 2-3 landfill, the Phase 4 landfill, and the Ultra Low Emissions, or ULE, flare. On July 25, 2003, a consent decree was lodged between the Rhode Island Resource Recovery Corporation and the U.S. EPA to settle alleged violations of state and federal air pollution control rules and regulations. The consent decree required the Rhode Island Resource Recovery Corporation to submit to DEM permit applications for the Phase 2-3 landfill, Phase 4 landfill, and the ULE flare. The consent decree also contained compliance provisions for these three emission sources. These compliance provisions apply to the three emission sources from the date of entry of the consent decree, July 25, 2003, until such time as RIDEM issues EPA-approved permits for the three sources. DEM is proposing these draft major source permits to replace the compliance provisions in the consent decree. The comment period for the four air pollution control permits will close at 4 p.m. on November 1, 2010. Any additional written comments can be delivered to the Office of Air Resources by 4 o'clock on that date. After considering the comments received, DEM will issue or deny the permits and provide a written response to each submission. 